Hello, this will be some quick advice on how to get started practicing these duets uh, for each instrument. Uh, some of the duets will be recycled from instrument to instrument, uh, maybe in different keys, just to make it easier for each instrument. Um, but I've included parts for both parts, uh, and you can play along with the videos uh, as if you are playing along with somebody else, uh, trying to follow them and keep time and tune and all those things that you're probably missing out on right now not being able to go to band. Uh, so we're going to start with flute duets. Uh, so if you don't have your flute out now, pause the video, go back and get it, and we're going to run through some of these things and then you can go practice the duets, then you can go play the duets. Say duets again. Now, uh, duet number one for flutes. Uh, Pretty much everything on this page is going to be a long tone exercise until you're used to playing longer notes. That being said, number one is very clearly marked with slurs. Uh, try to put everything in a slur under one breath. Uh, try to breathe in between the slurs, uh, which means taking a big breath at the start of each slur and sustaining throughout. Trying to take quick breaths in between the slurs is the way to do it. That's called a catch breath. Maybe cutting the half note short just a little bit um, to make it easier to breathe. And if your fingers uh, can handle it going a little bit faster in the beginning um, in order to make it easier to play more notes in a breath uh, and then slowing it down, which is a little bit opposite of doing uh, technical practice work. The fingers for this one are not too terribly difficult, I hope. Uh, and if they are, you'll have to start slow and have a little bit more trouble with the breath. Um, it, it's often a fight between the breath and the fingers uh, for young flute players. Uh, the contrasting section in this duets, in the third line, um, we have articulations, we have accents, and we have staccatos. Uh, try to make the accents as heavy as you can. Understanding, of course, it's a flute. It's not a sledgehammer um, or a trumpet. So it, good luck. Try not to overblow the B-flat uh, or try not to overblow the F uh, that you have there. Uh, and then we return to slurring notes at the end of that. Uh, so really, it's just a contrast between these short things and the slurred things. So I demonstrated the slurred things. Let's hear some of the short things. Okay, really lay into those accents nice and heavy and try to make the uh, staccatos uh, uh, fluffy or bubbly, uh, like little pa, 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 okay, almost as if they're not there, but you do have to play them. Uh, moving on to duet number two. This one is all about staccato notes for a while, uh, and then we have slurs again, yay the two same things over and over and over again as if these are important concepts and they are uh, because music is about contrast so we have a lot more staccato notes in a row uh, and I've made the tempo for this one a little bit slower to make it a little bit easier to get the articulation down so um, you want to try and get a nice clean two 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 sound make sure the air is coming out fast you can't start the air slowly for a short note because by the time the air gets up to speed, uh, the note's already over. So it has to be like you're spitting the note out quickly uh, for each note. Uh, here's what these staccatos sound like. Okay, I'm really just uh, but with the tongue. The contrasting section for this, uh, every other line, the second line and the fourth line, we have slurs. Here you want to go for a nice full sound. Make sure you're taking a big breath 
so that we can complete all of the slur notes and make sure that we are placing the fingers down confidently down this B flat major scale. And this is what that sounds like. Okay, uh, and that's pretty much all this one is about. Number three, we have finally uh, a difference between the bottom and the top part. Uh, this is duet three. Uh, the top part has a long melody, which just like all the previous melodies that we've had that are slurred, make sure you're trying to connect everything in a single breath underneath each slur. Uh, the upper part does get some short notes in the third line of this. Um, but for the most part, it's still long compared to the bottom part. The bottom part, uh, we're going to have to practice a little bit differently. Uh, it's just a constant stream of eighth notes with very little gap. Um, and until you're used to taking a quick catch breath, I would recommend taking one of the eighth notes out. Just not playing it and breathing in that place instead. I will show you and I will demonstrate. The first one I will get rid of will be on beat four, the and of four specifically. So we'll play these dot 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 breathe dot 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 breathe dot 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 breathe on the last eighth note. So this is what that's going to sound like. Okay, that's taking out the last eighth note in the measure. Once you're comfortable with that, try taking out a different one preferably one that is not directly on a beat. So the second one or the fourth one or the sixth one or the eighth eighth note, uh, the even numbered eighth notes. Those are the ones you want to take out. That way there's always a strong downbeat, although you don't necessarily have to do this. It's all about finding a place to breathe. And a lot of the times when you're in band and you have long passages like this where there aren't any places to really breathe, uh, especially if there are going to be two or three people playing the same part. That's how it's going to be. It's called stagger breathing. You'll just take out a whole note. You'll breathe there. Everybody else will play that note, and no one will know that you breathed. Um, and it'll always sound like a full section. But when it's just one of you playing a two-part duet, um, you have to make allowances for these things. Uh, as long as when you perform this, if you perform this, uh, you're consistent and that you take out the same one every time. Um, that'll be the most musical thing to do. Uh, let's take out, right now, I will take out the fourth note. Uh, here's what that sounds like. And that sounds fine too. Um, it sounded a little bit awkward to my ears the first time, um, but once it was repeated several times, it sounds like it really belongs to be that way. Um, it doesn't matter which one you do, as long as you're consistent each time. Uh, the last duet, number four, is slow. Make sure you play it slowly. You cannot rush on this one. I'm sorry. Uh, Slow music is, is, is hard. It's harder to tune things because you're playing longer notes. Um, if you play a wrong note, it lasts longer. Uh, it takes a certain amount of patience to be able to play along with this one. Uh, it also takes a certain amount of breath control to make sure, again, we are maintaining slurs and making sure that there is one whole breath connecting all of the notes in a slur. There's ample time to breathe in this one in between the phrases. I have included rests. Um, the phrases are uneven though. The second phrase is 
longer than the first phrase, and I've included a breath mark so that you can take a catch breath or, or turn the half note into a dotted quarter note and make the breath relatively quick. If you have any questions about these duets, please put them in the comments section. Otherwise, go to the duets video uh, and learn these. Listen to them a couple times, go practice them, and try to play them along. Uh, I have recorded back-to-back -back versions of the top part and the bottom part, so you can play along with the part that you're playing if you would like um, to try to get it as consistent as possible, and then see if you can put it together with the other part. Uh, if you got something out of this and you enjoyed it, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and keep an eye out for more content for woodwinds and some brass and music and doubling and all that kind of stuff. Have a nice day.